Welcome to worship this evening. We have had a very busy week at American Lutheran um, because we have amazing, we have an amazing congregation who has decided to spend their spring break helping others. So if you happen to drive past Hartley and you think that there might be mulch around the trees, that's because yesterday when it was really too cold to put down mulch, we did that. <laughs> <laughs> Seemed like a good thing to do. Wasn't that a great day to do that, Bertha? Did you, do you, do you, can you feel your toes yet? Can you feel your toes? Oh, my fingers. Your fingers, yeah. Yeah, but fingers and toes, otherwise it was a perfectly great day. <laughs> we had a good time. Um, and, and then today we made, I think, about 18 dozen cookies for Kairos Prison Ministry. If you want to know more about that, um, talk to... Well, actually, Michelle has got, Michelle has got the not, oh, are they gone? I wrote cookie rejects from the beginning of after the service. <laughs> <laughs> there, aren't, there aren't hardly any of them left in there. No, there's, there's like six or seven. Well, there was a lot more rejects than that, so good job, folks. Way to eat them. Way to eat the evidence. <laughs> um, if you thought that the rejects were good, then you should taste the real thing, because the real thing was really yummy. So, um, and our quilting women where our quilting team was on the other side of our building quilting today, so we both sewed and cooked this afternoon. And tomorrow, um, if, you're, if you're looking for something to do, at 1.30 we're going to be at Orphan Grain Train um, helping sort clothes and whatever else Orphan Grain Train has us do. So um, thank you for helping. Um, let's see. Announcements in the bulletin to draw your attention to. This is... Sunday will be the very last day to get Easter lilies if you'd like to give an Easter lily in memory or lo of a loved one. And then um, don't forget, ALC t-shirt orders are up. Um, you can order them online. That would be the best way to do it. Otherwise, um, if you want to, you can write your name on the t-shirt on the sign-up sheet in the narthex and put some money in the offering plate and we'll order a t-shirt for you. Um, and and w when you're ordering the t-shirts, if you haven't already done so, when you get to shipping, you should choose sh um, have it delivered. Not, not delivered. Have it dropped off. Anyways, there's two options. If you choose to have it shipped to you, they will charge you like 10 bucks to ship your t-shirt to your house. Don't do that. Have it delivered to our church and they'll come in a package already, and we'll just hand it to you when you come to church, okay? Then it's free, free delivery to church. Okay, um, I think those are the things that we need to announce today. Other announcements? Others in our prayers today? Oh, till April 3rd. You need to have them. Melanie's got a picture on her phone. They're up until April 3rd, okay. All right. Um, today, Rachel learned how to play the piano for the very first time. <laughs> she's amazing. <laughs> and um, yeah, she's taken a grand total of five minutes of piano lessons. Good stuff. So sing loud. That's the basics of that. And, um, and then our, those that are helping with the story, thank you very much. And Wendy is going to lead us through Pharaoh Pharaoh tonight. So... So when Lauren comes back, we shall tell her we missed her greatly. We got this, right? Sure. Go. <laughs> um, let us pray. Gracious God, thank you for this evening and for all who are gathered here. Bless our worship this evening and fill us with, with the hope of the good news found all the way through your gospel. In Jesus' name we pray all these things. Amen.
May our prayers come before you, O God, as incense. And may your presence surround and fill us, so that in union with all creation, we might sing your praise and your love in our lives. Amen. This time I would invite our storytellers to come forward. As you're aware, we tell this story, and so you need to help us tell it. Whenever you see Pharaoh hold up the no sign, you say, No. Oh, come on. You say, No. Whenever you see Moses hold up the go sign, you say, No. There you go. Now you know your part. All right. The reading from Exodus. The Israelites groaned under their slavery, and they cried out to God for help, and God heard their groaning. And God remembered God's covenant with Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. God looked upon the Israelites, and God took notice of them. God sent Moses Go. to Pharaoh, Go. who ruled over Egypt. God sent Moses to proclaim God's message. Go. Let my people Go. But each time Pharaoh said, No. God sent a plague after plague. After each plague, Moses declared, Let my people go. No. And Pharaoh said, no. And Moses said, no. And Pharaoh said, no. Again and again and again and again. Until the final plague, the death of the firstborn. The Israelites marked their doorposts with the blood of the Lamb. So the angel of death passed over all the houses of the Israelites. After this plague, Pharaoh said, go. But then, Pharaoh changed his mind, and Pharaoh sent an army to pursue the Israelites. As Pharaoh drew near, the Israelites looked back, and there were the Egyptians advancing on them, and in great fear the Israelites cried out to the Lord, but Moses said to the people, No. Then the Lord said to Moses, Tell the Israelites to go forward, but you lift up your staff and stretch out your hand over the sea and divide it, that the Israelites may go into the sea on dry ground. The angel of God, who was going before the Israelites, moved and went behind them. And the pillar of cloud moved from in front of them and took its place behind them so that, the, so that there, there was the cloud of darkness and it lit up the night. 
One did not come near the other all night long. Then Moses stretched out his hand over the sea, and the Lord drove the sea back with a strong east wind, and the sea turned into dry land, and the waters were divided. Then the Israelites went into the, dry, the sea on dry ground, and the waters were foaming in the wall for them on the right and the left, and the Egyptians pursued them and went into the sea after them, all of Pharaoh's horses and chariots and chariot drivers, and the Lord clogged up their chariot wheels so that they turned with difficulty. Then the Lord said to Moses, Stretch out your hand over the sea. So the waters came back on the Egyptians and on the chariots and on the chariot drivers. Moses stretched out his hand over the sea and the waters returned and covered the chariots and the chariot drivers and the entire army of Pharaoh that had followed him into the sea. Not one of them remained. Thus, the Lord saved Israel that day from the Egyptians. Then, the prophet Miriam, Aaron's sister, took a tambourine in her hand. And all the women went out with their tambourines and with dancing. And Miriam sang to them, listen so you can join me. I will sing unto the Lord, for he has triumphed gloriously. The horse and the rider thrown into the sea. I will sing unto the Lord, for he has triumphed gloriously. The horse and the rider thrown into the sea. Now you have to make the horse, ready? O God, whose wonderful deeds of old shine forth even to our own day, by, your, by the power of your mighty arm, you once delivered your chosen people from slavery under Pharaoh, a sign for us of the salvation offered to everyone by the, by the water of baptism. Grant that all the peoples of the earth may partake in the salvation of Moses and of the Israelites and together may dance on the safe side of the sea. Through Jesus Christ, our Savior and Lord. Amen. Thank you. At this time, I'd invite our young people who would like to dance a little bit to come forward and join Wendy.
never gets old, does it? It's always fun. It's always fun to rejoice and sing. And is there any wonder, is there any wonder that this story, this Exodus story, became the story of the Underground Railroad in our country? Go down, Moses, way down the Egypt land, let my people go. Is there any reason, any wonder, why, that's not the story of this, of the Underground Railroad. Of course it is. Of course. And it's an important story. And it's a story that is years and years and years old and that has found promise and hope. And yet, it's a story that's not complete because there's still oppression there is still oppression. And let my people go, it's still not over. And it's never just one group of people, it's many. We are still waiting for a time when God's fullness will be complete and revealed. And don't our hearts long for it? It's interesting though, isn't it? Every time I sing that song, Pharaoh, Pharaoh, you know what my favorite part is? The dead man's float. I love that part. So great, isn't it? To like see the bad guys lose. And therein lies the problem. That's the problem. Because you see, the rest of the story of Exodus shows that getting out of Egypt, that was the easy part. That was the easy part of the story. And it was plenty hard. It was quite awful, actually. Right? But the easy part was getting out of Egypt. The much, much harder part was getting Egypt out of God's people. Because the very next thing that happens is the people set out to recreate Egypt in their own way. Now, instead of being the oppressed, maybe they'll try to be the oppressors. And that happens to us time and time again. So the rest of the story of Exodus and Deuteronomy and Numbers and Leviticus and a lot of story, the rest of the story is 40 years of wandering in the wilderness and God's training the people to live as God's promised children. To trust that when God says God will provide, God will provide enough for everyone so we need not hoard and when god says to trust him god is trustworthy and god truly does love every last person and every last person truly has a place in this community 40 years of wandering And we know how the story turns out. But God's plan, God's hope, God's new creation is about a Lord who loves us so much that he chooses to set us free. Free from slavery, free from sin. And even though we choose death time and time again. And we choose oppression time and time again. God never gives up on us. But God always casts a better vision. So listen to this story and consider. Consider where oppression lives. And then and then listen to the story. God can be trusted. Somehow, even when we least expect it, there turns out that there's enough. 
so share and look for a way to be God's chosen people in this world, to be a people that choose to make room for all. Amen. Thanks be to God. Let us pray. Gracious God, all that we have is yours. And you provide for our needs. Bless this offering that it might feed and care for the world around us. And that others might come to know your amazing love. In Jesus' name we pray all these things. Amen. Please rise as you're able and let us sing.
great and merciful God, source and ground of all goodness and light, give to your people the peace that passes all understanding and the will to live your gospel of mercy and justice. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. God, remember us in your love and teach us to pray. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom. 